the bin. Bin. Can I empty the bin? Oh, you, no, go ahead. <laughs> What are you listening to? Oh, it's, um, it's like K-pop. Love it. <laughs> you got the mood! <laughs> <laughs> I'm off then. See you later. No, you won't. What? It's my last day. To live? Yeah. You <laughs> Should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Although, to be fair, you didn't look that different. Yeah, kind of a weird joke. It's just my last day on the job. Happy last day. Oh, yeah. Been here five years. Five years, wow. Did the, the office, like, get you a present or...? Um, sort of. I asked if I could take one of the water cooler bottles home. Oh, because well, you have a water cooler at home. Well... Oh. Well, nice to meet you. Mike. Mike. But I'm Rose. I've got to say, I'm absolutely buzzing over this. <laughs> this is the longest conversation I've had with an employee. Oh, and I'm just a temp. Just a temp. <laughs> if you're just a temp, what am I? Just a office cleaner. Well, what else do you do? Um... Clean houses? Do you know what gets my goat? These people know absolutely nothing about me and I know everything about them. Is that right? Yeah, I'm the eyes and ears of this place. I empty the bins every single day and always have a bit of a rifle around. Surely that's illegal. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was talking to the rubbish police. Nina! Nina! I'm pretty sure the normal police would say the same thing. Gemma, for instance, she's got type 2 diabetes and she's a top judo champion in spite of her condition. Mm. Yeah, horrible woman, though. Ray, right, Ray, he started stand-up paddleboarding classes and I'm pretty sure he's committing tax fraud. And you've never spoken to any of these people in five years? Nah, it's very frowned upon. Wait here. Do what? There's too many post-it notes. Look, I think since it's your last day, we should write some proper goodbyes to everyone in the office. Well, I can't write them. They might trap my handwriting. That's how they tried to get the Zodiac killer. Yeah, but they never caught him, did they? Good point. Wow, that's scary. I know, right? Yeah, arsehole. Yeah, I think we should start that one again. woman inside and out but please stop putting paper coffee cups with a bit of coffee still left in them in the bin the coffee spills out and makes it hard for Mike or whoever replaces Mike to empty the bins cleanly do you think I think this one's quite long and very specifically from you but I do like the beginning it's quite nice yeah poor Andrea lonely soul yeah. It's hard not to be in a place like this, though, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's such a specific type of loneliness, you know? Like, I've been here for six months and people don't even look me in the eye. They just treat me like nothing, like I'm here. It doesn't matter how many after work drinks you go to or swing dance lessons you sign up to. It's just this emptiness in your heart that you can't fill. All you want is just it's one brief moment of human connection, just for someone to look at you and to see you, really see you as a person who exists in this world and is worthy of their attention. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'll be honest, I zoned out after the first couple of sentences. But, hey, check that out. Oh, my God, mine! <laughs> it's incredible.
Rainbow. It's a duck. Oh, let me get a photo. <laughs> What's that? Dear office, you see us as you want to see us. A strung out boss, an overzealous office manager, a lonely cleaner, an overqualified temp with a weird accent. But we're so much more than that. We have heart, personalities, but most importantly, I literally have a law degree. I'm so overqualified. Sincerely yours, Rose, the temp. I've been here like six months. <laughs>